Hey guys, Joe Whitney here, Brewing with Bim. Uh, today I'm going to take some time to show off uh, my brew setup and uh, give everybody a little instruction on how to put it together. I'll uh, do my best to break this into smaller videos so uh, they're just relevant to what you guys want to see. Alright. So, um, first up, I guess let's start with my boil kettle. This is pretty simple. Uh, there's a few pre-made ones already that have, um, you know, thermometers and uh, spigots are available. Uh, this one came with a ball valve. It was around, I don't know, probably about 100 bucks. It's 32 quart. The steel on it, um, it's a little tinny, but uh, it's thicker than a lot of the other ones I had looked at. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it came with a false bottom. <laughs> Which is definitely very handy. Uh, I actually might end up putting a false bottom in one of my coolers to help with the, the filtration part. Um, and another great thing it came with is a bazooka tube. And if you guys aren't familiar with this bazooka tube, it's actually a pretty cool little invention. It is just a like 300 micron screen um, wrapped around a uh, fitting uh, with a coupler on it, essentially holding it in place and a little worm clamp. Um, that just screws into a, uh, a fitting on the inside. And uh, so when you go to actually drain your beer, um, you're, you, don't have to, you don't have to filter it. The sediment's uh, pretty much well contained. Between this and the false bottom, um, you might have a little haze, but nothing a little Wurlock, Wurlock, uh, Wurf, Wurflock tablet couldn't uh, clarify.